Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mr. Peck here. Today, I'm going to help you out with your questions on conservation of linear momentum. Let us jump into the questions. Two objects A and B with mass 2 kg and 3 kg respectively are moving in the same direction on a smooth horizontal surface. The velocities of A and B are 4 meter per second and 2 meter per second respectively. A and B collide head on so that the velocity of B becomes 3.6 meter per second after the collision. Find the velocity of A after collision. Okay, so information given, we have we have the mass, okay, we put this A and B, we have two objects here, A and B, A we put as 1, B is put as 2, so we have their masses, M1 and M2, moving in the same direction, uh, in the same direction, so the velocity of A and B, this is the initial velocity, and they are moving in the same direction, so we assume that they both move to the right. We both move to the right. So both are positive value. Both move to the right. U1 and U2. They collide head on. So this is considered a one dimension collision. One dimension. Yeah? Only one component. There's no XY component. When head on means the only one dimension. Only one component. Now, the, so that the velocity of B becomes 3.6 after the collision. So this is the final velocity for B. So B we put as number 2. So this is V2. Final velocity for number 2. For ball B. Okay? So find the velocity of A that mean after collision. Means this is the final velocity for 1. We want to find V1. Alright. So I have illustrated the information in the diagram here. Uh, so, these both balls, A and B, we have M1, M2, their masses, their initial velocity, both positive, moving to the right. And uh, the final velocity for uh, ball B, uh, also positive, because it gives positive value, so it is to the right also. Uh, we want to find V1. So, what principle can we use? Yeah, it's the conservation of momentum. Yeah, for collision, conservation of momentum always applied. Okay, so what is the formula for conservation of momentum? Let us write it out. Conservation of momentum is m1u1 plus m2u2 equal to m1v1 plus m2v2. Ah, okay. So we just substitute all the information we have. We have a uh, two kilogram uh, four plus a three kilogram two, and then we have the okay this one. We don't have v one. We don't have v one. We want to find v one, and mass two is three kilogram and uh, three point six for v two. Okay, so just left with v one. We find the answer, and we get. 1 point positive 1.6 meter per second. Ah. So the positive value, uh, what does it tell us? Uh, it tells us that the uh, ball A uh, is moving to the right also. Okay? okay, so we must write the direction. Yeah, for vector velocity, always have magnitude and direction. You must give direction. If you don't give direction, you lose one mark. Okay? So we got positive value means it's moving to the right after collision. Okay, now let's just move on to the question B. State with reason whether the collision is elastic or inelastic. Is it the collision elastic or inelastic? How, how to identify? Is it elastic or inelastic? Which one? Uh, first, you must know the similarity and also the differences between elastic and inelastic collision. Okay? 
So here there's a quick note uh, to compare between elastic and inelastic collision. Okay, so what's the uh, this is elastic and inelastic. What's the similarity between them? Yeah, the same thing for elastic and inelastic collision is momentum always conserve. Momentum always conserve no matter it's elastic or inelastic collision, uh, which is uh, moment, total momentum before equal to total momentum after collision. Or M1U1 plus M2U2 equal to M1V1 plus M2V2. This formula can be applied for both elastic and inelastic. So we cannot use the uh, conservation of momentum to differentiate between elastic and inelastic because this formula can be applied for both. So the only thing we can use to differentiate between them, elastic and inelastic, is the kinetic energy. Uh, okay? For kinetic energy, elastic collision, the kinetic energy is conserved. But for inelastic collision, the kinetic energy is not conserved. Okay? Uh, so the kinetic energy formula is half mv square. Okay? So the uh, conservation of kinetic energy is half m1u1 square plus half m2u2 square equal to half m1v1 square plus half m2v2 square. This formula can only be applied in elastic collision. Uh, cannot be applied in inelastic collision because uh, the before and after not equal the kinetic energy. Okay? So we... So how to diff how to do the question B? How to uh, identify whether elastic or inelastic? We just check the kinetic energy. Uh, okay, so we just check the kinetic energy before and after. Uh, so we just calculate the kinetic energy before and the total kinetic energy after. We compare. If kinetic energy before equal to kinetic energy after collision then this is elastic collision. If the kinetic energy before is uh, not equal to kinet total kinetic energy after collision, not equal, then it is inelastic collision. Okay? Based on the only difference between them, this, this one, kinetic energy. Uh, okay? So, let us uh, substitute all the information we have. We did have all the masses and all the initial and final velocity. So, we just substitute the information. Shall we? Okay, let us substitute all the information we have. We have the... Uh, okay, we just substitute. Half. Okay. A half. Uh, mass 1 is 2. Uh, U1 is 4. And uh, mass 2 is uh, 3. In, uh, U2 is 2 square. So we calculate. We got 22 joule. Okay, that is initial kinetic energy. And the uh, kinetic energy after collision, we also already have all the data. We just substitute uh, mass 1, V1, okay? And then we have mass 2, 3, and we have V2, 3.6. And we got 22 joule. Oh! So it seems that this uh, kinetic energy before and after e is equal. Ah, okay, initial. So we can conclude that total initial kinetic energy is equal to total kinetic energy after collision, which is 22 joule. So what does this tell you? It tells you that this is a elastic collision. Okay, because they have equal the kinetic energy before and after collision. And kinetic energy is conserved. So this is elastic collision. Okay? Uh, so uh, that's all for uh, the questions. Okay? So hope you enjoy the videos. Any questions, you, any um, um, things you don't understand, please leave a, a comment below. Okay? Hope you subscribe and bye. See you again.